Welcome to our fifth gratitude soiree, to our intimate gratitude circle, um, where we come every month on the third Wednesday of the month, and we meet here to talk about gratitude, to talk about what we're grateful for in our lives, and to share with this community um, the joys of living and the smiles we've had. And we bring in different guest speakers like Dr. Kataria and like Sherprina Lee, who is our MC for tonight. And it's really a wonderful, wonderful organization. We uh, were started through a beautiful idea from our host, Eileen, who has started the Hizan International or co-founded the Hizan International Foundation, which uh, provides scholarships for single mothers all around the world and pairs them with mentors who, as they meet throughout the year, um, are able to receive mentorship and coaching, advice and connection. And it's a really beautiful, beautiful community of people. It's an amazing mission. And I am so happy to be a part of it and so happy to have laughter yoga tonight. Um, I think I don't know, as we head into spring and everything starts to bloom, I was on an airplane today coming back from Florida and I was so happy to look out the window and see all the forests were green because the last time I was in the plane, everything was gray and, and everything was asleep for the winter. So I was very grateful for that. And when I landed, the weather was warm, the flowers were in bloom. And so when I think about today and um, what we're meeting for, for laughter, I think for myself, this is perfect timing because we can always use more laughter in our lives. We can always use a reminder of gratitude and that there are people all over the country, like in the Zoom room, and all over the world, like in this Zoom room too, who are in it together, who we can share moments of gratitude and moments of beauty with. And we can just share the little things like being in an airplane and seeing the green forest and being grateful or sharing a, lo a laugh with a loved one or, you know, yeah. with um, the animals and, and every, everybody and everything that we meet on our journey through life. And one of the wonderful things that Eileen has put in motion for these gratitude soirees is having both a speaker and an MC. So we get to meet not just one, but two people and get to know uh, the members of this community a little bit more. And so with that said, I want to welcome Sherprina Lee, who is one of our mentors uh, at Hizan. Um, uh, which is just, I just have to say, is such a, a blessing to have, you know, this, to be able to pair the mentees who receive the scholarship with mentors who have such amazing life experience, who have so much to teach and so much to share and so much to give is, it's such a way to give back and it inspires me and I hope it inspires everybody here. Um, so with that said, I want to welcome to the stage as our MC for tonight, Sherprina, and I will spotlight you now. Welcome. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Eric. Um, I'm excited to be here. I'm really, really happy to be here. And I'm really happy that we all decided to take an hour off of, um, of our daily life to be here to reflect and you know appreciate what life have given us. So for one, thank you, Eileen, my friend, for inviting me to come out here to be part of this wonderful community, this wonder, wonderful circle. Um, you know, every once in a while, we all need a friend that give us a little push to, um, to make us stop and smell the roses, if you would, to stop and reflect on what we have and appreciate what we have in front of us. So thank you, friend. Um, as a single mother, I'm grateful for what I have. You know, I'm grateful that I have a wonderful job that gives me financial independence. 
to be able to provide a comfortable roof over my head and my three children. And I'm really grateful for my children being smart and hardworking. My teen daughter, you know, she gets up every day. She gets herself ready. She makes herself breakfast, packs herself lunch, and just like, mommy, just go start the car. Let's go to school. So, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that she's smart and independent and motivated to go to school and do well. Um, and I'm grateful that she has passionate hobbies that she's passionate about, which is baking and ice skating. Um, I'm also very proud of my oldest son who's serving our country in the US Navy. Uh, my younger son um, is also well on his way to a great career. And uh, there was a, a little joke here. So I work for the federal government and, um, and of course I have a lot of friends who works for the federal government. and. They that my two boys would often spread rumors to their friends. Like my mom works for people who take people's money, the IRS, or <laughs> she has friends who kills people. You know, like the U.S. You know, military, the army. <laughs> so now I can joke about him that says, "Well, my son has a job uh, that you know." He's living his childhood dream of playing on trains all day because he works for a German transportation company that prepares trains that goes into service. So now I get to make fun of them for a change. So as for myself, um, I feel very blessed all my life that I have a loving and supportive family, because without them, it would be so much harder to raise three kids on my own after my divorce. You know, my parents, even my ex-in-laws, they were so helpful in helping me get over the hump. So I'm really grateful to have such uh, wonderful family support. Um, I'm also grateful that along the way in my professional life, I have many, many great mentors. They see potential in me that I didn't see in myself. They push and nurture me um, to get me to the point I am today, where I'm looking at less than two years to enjoy my retirement, and I can't wait to do that. And hopefully, I can do more work for the Hisan Foundation to give back all the mentors that helped me along the way and share my experience as a single mother to those, you know, that's coming up. Uh, so I'm hoping to pay it forward. And, um, you know, I would not have been able to come this far without uh, my friends, my family, and my mentors. So, um, they are my circle of light, and I'm grateful to have all of them in my life. So, um, as you know, um, I'm thankful that I can attend today's circle right here. Um, I'm thankful that I get to meet all of you and our esteemed uh, guest speaker, Dr. Kataria, the guru of Giggle. I can't wait to learn, you know, from him um, the art of uh, laugh, laugh yoga. Uh, Dr. Kataria is the founder of Laughter Yoga Club movement that started in 1995 in India. Today, he will share with us laughter exercises with yoga breathing techniques that will bring more oxygen to our brains and our body and make us feel more energized and healthy. So I can't, I really can't wait to learn to do that and practice that in my everyday life. So without further ado, please welcome Dr. Kataria. So um, doctor, please show us the way to, when you laugh, you change. When you change, the world changes. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> so happy to be today as a guest. Thank you, Eileen, for inviting me to be sharing our, my laughter and joy with wonderful group of people from Gratitude Service. So friends, everybody knew that laughter is the best medicine. And even scientific studies have proven that laughter has a great impact on our body, our own mind. But there are not many opportunities these days which makes us laugh today. So with all that negativity, with lo lots of things happening around us, so we don't have any reason to laugh. So in that, to, to find more opportunities to laugh, I discovered laughter yoga in 1995. Uh, I was writing an article for a health magazine, which I edited. And I thought of writing an article about how laughter can make a good impact on our health. So after finding so many stu research studies about benefits of laughter, I thought nobody's laughing. So idea popped up in my mind, why not start a laughter club? So I went to a public park near my house and spoke to people around So about starting a laughter club. They started laughing at me. They said, Doc, are you all right? I said, yes, I'm <laughs> public park laughter club. I said, oh, no, no, it's not a good idea. So with great difficulty, we were only five people to begin with. And initially we started laughing by telling jokes. So this is normally anybody would do that. So after about 10 days, we ran out of good jokes. <laughs> People asked me to stop the laughter club because most of the jokes were negative jokes, hurting jokes, and then came vulgar and sexy jokes. So I said, okay, Please give me one day, I'll find some breakthrough technique how to laugh without jokes. So I didn't have even faintest idea what this breakthrough technique is. So I started looking for flipping through the books, looking for how can we laugh without jokes. So I, I found an article and research about your body and brain cannot distinguish the difference between real laughter and even if you are laughing intentionally even if you fake it you still get the same benefits oh i said wonderful we can make laughter as an exercise <laughs> so we decided to laugh for no reason doing laughter as a form of exercise to begin with but we were about 50 people in the group and when we were looking at each other and doing ha 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 and within seconds, we were laughing for real. And we kept on laughing for nothing. And that was the breakthrough. That if you laugh together with a group of people, you don't need anything. You just look it because laughter is contagious. Laughter is infectious. We all knew it. But I really found that we couldn't stop laughing. So what is laughter yoga? Laughter yoga is not a comedy. This is an exercise program where anyone can laugh for no reason without using jokes, humor, and comedies. So what we do is we laugh together as a group and initiate laughter as an exercise to begin with, but then it gets into real laughter very quickly with eye contact and looking at each other. Now, what is yoga about laughter? Why we call it laughter yoga? The yoga part is combination of laughter exercises with deep breathing techniques from yoga and that brings more oxygen to our body and brain and makes us feel more healthy, more energetic. The whole idea is based on the scientific studies that you get same benefits, whether laughter is real or even if you pretend laughing, even you act like a happy person, you still get the same benefits. So we decided to create laughter as a form of exercise. So we started laughter yoga with just five people. Now, Till today, we are present in more than 120 countries. And Laughter Yoga is not, Laughter Yoga clubs are absolutely free for everyone anywhere in the world. So this is called social laughter clubs. So apart from social laughter clubs, Laughter Yoga is also being practiced in schools, colleges, universities, companies, corporations, hospitals, senior centers, prison, police. And I just before we start laughing, I want to share with you a short video.
and then we'll get started. Okay, ready? One minute. Just give me a moment. One day, inspiration came to me like a divine light. At first, we were five of us. Now, there are hundreds of laughing clubs all over India and the world. Laughter connects you with people. Very good. Very good. Yay! What's so funny that has grown adults rolling on the floor? <laughs> Every morning on Laguna Beach, California, you'll find a group gathered on the sand laughing. the best medicine. <laughs> These people didn't think they had a lot to joke about. They're fighting cancer along with traditional therapies. This is offered as part of their treatment. Ha, ha. It's called laughter yoga. Laughter really is the best medicine. Very good. Yay! The largest laughter yoga lesson. Ready? Thank you so much. So you saw, I say, like a literally a laughter revolution. <laughs> so now let's get started. It's your turn to laugh. So the, let's do some laughter as a form of exercise. So my first laughter exercise is fake it until you make it. So we will. I will ask you to unmute and we will just laugh for a minute, faking laughter, just like ha 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 ha. Whatever way you can laugh. Okay, ready? Unmute. <laughs> 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 
Okay, guys, that was great. Okay, so we did start like a fake laughter. Then you must have felt that it starts coming up automatically. <laughs> so this is a virtual class, but when we are actually laughing physically, it really gets real contagious laughter when you start laughing. So laughter yoga is all about breathing and laughing. So laughter itself is like a breathing exercise because when you laugh, you are exhaling longer than you normally do. So it's based on the yogic philosophy that when you exhale longer than inhalation, there's a lot of res residual air in your lungs and which gets eliminated and you get more oxygen. So my second exercise is laughing for no reason and laughing combining with breathing exercises. Okay. So let's do some breathing and laughing. Okay. So put your hands out like this. Take a long deep breath in. Inhale. Hold it, hold it, and just laugh like. <laughs> so, laugh to you guys all about breathe and laugh. Once again, breathe in. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and laugh it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you must have noticed that we are trying to laugh a little bit longer than we normally do. So natural laughter is very short, three seconds, four seconds at a time. But when we do laughter as an exercise, we can actually laugh much longer than we normally do. And now, what are the primary organs for our breathing? They are lungs. Lungs is the one which gives us more oxygen. Oxygen is our life. Or it's a very important ingredient of all metabolic processes. We need oxygen. So why people fall sick? Because they don't get enough oxygen. So we breathe and laugh and do different laughter exercises so that we are able to laugh much longer. So to get the scientifically proven benefits of laughter, one must laugh at least 10 to 15 minutes in a day. That is, now there's no way you can get 10, 10, 15 minutes of laughter naturally. So since laughter is an exercise program, so you can laugh as long as you want. So extended laughter, longer laughter, so that it brings about physiological changes. Okay, so strengthen the lungs. We want to exercise, join your hands like this. Everybody, put it behind your head. Now, take a long deep breath. Inhale. Hold it, hold it, and laugh it. <laughs> Breathe in. Hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to bring more oxygen to the middle lobe, we have a yogic posture. Join your hands like this and take a long deep breath and stretch your arms over your head. Breathe in, hold it, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
So this is the exercises to strengthen your lungs so that it brings more oxygen. Now we have a very funny exercise in laughter yoga. That is my favorite. It's called credit card bill laughter. So imagine you just received a bill for your visa, MasterCard or, you know, Amex. So just put your hand like this, everybody. And this is the bill for your visa card or MasterCard, credit card bill. And please, un first you, please unmute. And show me how much is your credit card bill. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 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 so when we finish exercise we'll say very good very good yay one more time very good very good yay <laughs> one more exercise uh Laughter helps you to make your mind positive. So it's a mind cleaner. So we have a very good exercise we call mental floss laughter. So it cleans all negativity from your mind. So we have a dental floss, but now we take a little longer thread. Everybody make a longer thread and wind it around your fingers and tuck it in your brain and you're going to do mental flossing. Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> <laughs> so even if your mind is not so clean we can do brainwash so we can take the brain into your hand open your skull a, a, and take the brain into your hand and scrub it and wash it <laughs> <laughs> nice and clean with laughter <laughs> don't forget to put it back okay ready <laughs> very good very good Yay. One more time. Very good. Very good. Yay. So let's do some breathing and laughing. Put your hands out. Breathe in. Hold it. Hold it. And just laugh out. <laughs> So learning to laugh is like learning to ride a bicycle. We all laughed when we were kids and we didn't need any reason to laugh. But now when we grow up, our laughter gets into our head. We always look for a reason to laugh. Why so funny? And even jokes, humor, comedies is not the guaranteed way to laugh more. So this is the best way. So how much we need to laugh every day? at least for 10 to 15 minutes, 30 minutes, a laughter session. Or it's not a continuous laughter. We laugh, we breathe, and we stretch, combining some stretching exercise. Cross your fingers like this, everybody. Take a long deep breath in, inhale and stretch your spine. Breathe in, hold it, hold it, and love it. <laughs> And continue to laugh as long as you can. <laughs> One more time. Take a long deep breath in. Inhale and stretch. Hold it. <laughs> and I love your community. Gratitude, Suarez. It's a wonderful way to live life. But we are grateful because first we show we are grateful because we are alive. 
God has given us so much of opportunities to see this wonderful world. So first we must express our gratitude to the universe who is giving us so much in our life. And we are not giving back as much. So one gratitude, laughter for this universe. Put your hands out, take a long deep breath and be grateful for the universe. <laughs> <laughs> okay what else we are grateful grateful to our parents who brought us into this world thank you mother thank you father for bringing us and one big hearty laughter for our parents wherever they are <laughs> <laughs> so what else we are grateful for we are grateful for our teachers in the school who educated us so that we can become what we are today so think about one school teacher who really loved you you like that school teacher so just think about any teacher in the school take a long deep breath inhale and laugh for your school teacher. <laughs> and what else? Think about any of your best friend when you were in school. Just imagine who was your best friend in school. So just Reflect that person's image in your mind, mental screen. Take a long deep breath as if you are breathing for him or her. And laugh with your best friend from the school. <laughs> so think about your best friend around now. Right now, who is your best friend who can stand by you whenever you need? So take a long deep breath. Imagine your best friend now and laugh for that. <laughs> Think about all the people, just imagine randomly, who have made a big difference in your life, who have supported you, helped you to be who you are today. Take a long deep breath. And laugh for all the people who have contributed to your life. <laughs> and I don't know how much time I have, but I, I, I'll just try to wind up and give you the overview. So why we are laugh, why laughter yoga is spread across the world? The reason is health, happiness, and world peace through laughter. This is our mission. So through the practice of laughter yoga, it strengthens your immune system, it reduces stress, brings more oxygen. And if you have if you laugh every day for 10 to 15 minutes, you will not fall sick easily because your immunity becomes stronger. Okay. Take a long deep breath, inhale, and laugh for your immunity. <laughs> Strong body and mind. <laughs> and if you have some chronic illnesses, ongoing disease, you will, if you laugh every day, you will heal much faster. So we have uh, so many, uh, how you can get involved in laughter yoga. So just to give you an idea that in about one hour from now, we, are, we hold free laughter club on Zoom every single day, 365 days. Anybody can join. So we are almost like 150, 200 people sometimes laughing together. So I'm going to share my link of uh, free laughter club with Eileen and she will give it to you. And also, uh, if you wish to be trained as a laughter yoga trainer, so if you want to become a certified leader, we do do some trainings online on Zoom and you can become a facilitator, trainer. And basically 
learning to laugh for yourself first. We don't want, because when you laugh, you change. And when you change, the world changes. So one bring hearty laughter for your health, everyone. To be healthy, inhale. And laugh it out. <laughs> so what is the other thing we are laughing? We are laughing for happiness because we have a saying that we don't laugh because we are happy. We are happy because we laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and finally we laugh for the world peace so may I ask you all of you to unmute and laugh for the world peace so this is the peace sign you get ready go <laughs> okay guys now to finish this is a very special meeting for gratitude and i want to play one one minute music which tells us how we are grateful and who we are grateful okay ready just give me a moment i'll play that music and please sing along with me Grateful to Eileen, Eric for giving in the opportunity to meet wonderful souls, all of you. I love you all. Love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And over to the MC. And yeah, we would we're hoping um if we could ask a few questions and i think sure prino was gonna was gonna ask a few questions here and if anybody has questions in the chat you can um you can put them all in there as well yeah so um how does everyone feel do you feel uh energized do you feel i i know that when we were flossing our brains i felt a little tickled 
<laughs> Did you feel the tickle? <laughs> How many of you feel more energized, like you, your stress for the day has melted away? Give, give us um, a little thumbs up on your emoji, you know, if you feel like um, you feel you feel happier, you feel healthier. So um, I, I certainly do. Um, so um, do you have any questions for Dr. Kataria? What is the longest period of time you've laughed for, doctor? <laughs> Good question. I mean, I start laughing first thing in the morning. I wake up at four o'clock and laugh for 30 to 40 minutes. I laugh and being in silence for some time, then I laugh. So it's like an alternate laughter and silence for 40 minutes practice. Then at 7.30, I hold laughter club on Zoom. And then I laugh for almost like 20 to 30 minute session, which I take the class. Then we have online trainings and then everybody from all over the world, they call me. Nobody says me hello. And we go to Dr. Kataria. <laughs> so almost like every day, my laughter is almost like two to three hours. It's too much for me. <laughs> because this is a professional hazard for me. <laughs> but I, I never get tired of laughing. Now, longest laughter is not me. Actually, one of my students in India he laughed for four hours and one minute continuously setting up a new record of laughing. I know that it's not required to laugh that long, but if you just laugh for 20, 30 minutes with breathing exercises in between, that's good. So uh, Dr. Kataria, like when you laugh, mm -hmm. do you think of something funny that makes you laugh? How, how do you keep laughing for... Yeah. The core, philosophy, yeah, the core philosophy of laughter yoga is learning to laugh for no reason. Because when we were kids, we didn't need any reason. We didn't need anything funny to laugh. We just laughed when we were playing. So the whole concept of laughter yoga is getting back to your childhood. So we are teaching people to become like a child. So all the laughter exercises, there is some imagination involved, like credit card bill. Is there an imagination? Then mental floss laughter, argument laughter, appreciation laughter, everything. So all laughter exercises are created to create some group uh, activity, which is a lot of fun. So it, it doesn't mean that every has thing to be intellectual or anything cognitive, but it's more of a physical form of laughter where we, uh, anything funny which comes out when you start laughing, you, it opens your perception then everything sounds funny. So outer world is a reflection of your inner world. I can't change anything outside, but I can change within. So when you laugh, you change. And when you change, the world changes. So I think it's still a little bit of a hard concept for me to grasp. Um, do you have any like starter symbol jokes yeah. for us to start get started to learn how to laugh and eventually learn how to laugh for no reason yeah i think uh, we started with jokes when we started the whole idea but jokes can't make you laugh for example if you already heard the same the joke which somebody tells you you won't laugh much because you you already know that punchline and also jokes are very individual, cultural, and also depends upon your mood, how you feel at a particular time. So you won't laugh at the best of the jokes, even if you're not feeling good. So laughter yoga gives you a way to express your emotions, your feelings. And I'm sure when we got started laughing for nothing at all, we, we were not, uh, after, after 10, 15 minutes, you are in a different world. So the learning to laugh for no reason, you may feel a little bit awkward to begin with, but then it gets into your system. So it's like a mind program, learning to laugh as a form of exercise. And then we always uh, encourage people to laugh for one minute, just like that. Now, la or just laugh with some of your friend, your family, look into the eyes and just say, <laughs> so give, give, give them a one minute laughter challenge that can you laugh for 60 seconds with me? Then you start laughing. 
<laughs> it, you know, you know what makes me laugh right now. I, I, I'm it's gonna have any class. <laughs> it's your flossing exercise that tickles my brain. Wow. Makes me laugh. <laughs> so lots of I'll start time. with that. I'll start with my brain. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to go now. Somebody's calling me, and uh, I've got another meeting. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we have a couple of questions. Um, oh, okay. You... okay. So Cindy has asked if you have a laughter book. Yeah. So I will share the link with Eileen. You can purchase, it's a Penguin Random House has published it from US. And then I'll share the link with Eileen and you can buy online. It's an ebook e or physical book. It's a, the title of the book is Laughter Yoga, Daily Practices for Health and Happiness. I'll share the link with the Eileen. And also I will share the link for free laughter club on Zoom. You can come and laugh with 120 people every day. <laughs> Um, we have uh, one more question. Uh, Jenny's asked, do you ever feel sad? And how yes. do you make yourself laugh to lift your spirit? Okay, so I do feel we all go through ups and downs of life. Life, life is never the same. So if you laugh every day as an exercise, it gives you a positive mental attitude. To, so whenever you go through difficulties, it keeps your spirits high because you are you are programmed your mind with laughter. So it gives you a positive mental attitude. You never go down with when you're a laughter yogi. So that's why I suggest that daily practice of laughter for 10 to 15 minutes is a must if you want to keep your mind positive. Otherwise, sort of if you look at the news, a lot of negativity around us, and what's happening in the round is not funny. So Laughter is the only way to fill up your system with positive chemicals, endorphin, serotonin, dopamine, you know, oxytocin, all happy chemicals fill up. And then you see the world in a different way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. Thank you, Dr. Kataria, for mm -hmm. showing us the way to laugh and the way to change the world when we laugh. And so everyone, let's take out your flaws. And let's thank Dr. Lost. Kataria with a big <laughs> boss laugh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Kateria. <laughs> All right. So thank you, everyone. I took away from today. You know, we need to laugh at least 10 to 15 minutes a day. So work that in like our eight glasses of water or other things that we, we do, um, you know, like eating your vegetable. So 15 minutes of laughter a day. <laughs> Floss your brain. <laughs> <laughs> See, that makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, this is so wonderful. I'm so grateful that Dr. Kateria was able to join us. He is, um, he's, he's quite busy and um, it truly is such a privilege that we were able to laugh with him and play with him. And so I'm, I'm just so grateful. He mentioned about the, the free laughter yoga club and I've actually participated in that. So if you look at your chat, it's actually right there. It's through the laughteryoga.org. Informations are there and it's signed up, sign up because it's it really makes a difference. Um, you know, it's an added bonus to your day. And there's also one thing that I know that he was not able to mention, but um He's promoting Celebrate World Laughter Day, which is coming up. And this is on Sunday, May 7th. 
And so if you actually check out his um, website, which is laughteryoga.org, you'll find some information on how you can be part of this world peace through laughter that he's promoting. It's really wonderful. There's so many communities around the world. He talks about the, um, the laughter yoga Zoom chat. There's about over a hundred, sometimes 150 people from around the world that, you know, that goes through this wonderful exercise. So I, I highly encourage you to participate in that. Did everyone have fun? Did you guys enjoy it? Yes. Yes. Oh, I wanted to just say, Shreprina, you did an amazing job as an MC. I wanted to thank you for um, for sharing and um, for um, drawing us, drawing our attention to our heart and what we could be grateful for. And um, in the songs that Dr. Kateria played, you know, reminded us of what we could be grateful for. And they are all around, above, below, on the right and on the left, all around us. There's so many things that we could be grateful for. So we just need to take a pause. Um, and so I hope that um, this particular event um, allowed you to just remember that, you know, life is beautiful. And um, the reason that we have this gratitude soiree is that so we can bring in more joy and happiness to the world. And we hope that we were able to do that for you. And with, um, a last mention, but certainly not the least, I want to thank my co-host Eric for doing an amazing job for creating this beautiful space for us. Yay! Um, <laughs> Um, and I really love the fact that you create this space for us so we can have a meaningful conversation to talk about gratitude and discuss about, you know, um, beautiful things about, you know, being in existence. So I thank you, Eric, from the bottom of my heart. And we hope that this has been valuable to all of you. Take notes. Shaprina mentioned that maybe 15 minutes a day doing laughter will definitely rejuvenate you because it surely did for me during this session. Check out Dr. Kateria's link laughteryoga.org and um, in the spirit of gratitude, love and laughter. Let's do it again, Shaprina. Yay! <laughs> yes, let's do it again, everybody. Yay. <laughs> we wish you all a beautiful Yay. evening. <laughs> Thank you. And we'll be Thank sending you. out the um the replay to everybody by email. And I want to give a shout out to Eileen, who has been doing an excellent job with the Hizan International Foundation Instagram. Um, so she's been posting some of the stories of the the scholarship recipients and some other fun things. So make sure to go check that out in the, you can see the link in the email and give her some love on there and support. And um, where this event is always open, it's the third Wednesday of every month. So if you feel like anybody you know needs some more or wants some more gratitude in their life, then you can always share the link uh, to sign up with your friends and family and communities. And let's uh, let's keep growing this community each month, month after month. It's such a beautiful cause. Thank you for all coming too. Nice job, Eric. Woohoo! Thank, yes. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Great job.